Hey, what's up guys? I Dubai Self here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I want to show you how to personally customize your iPhone's icon in iOS 14 without the need of using Siri shortcuts and avoiding the icon transitions. Now, if you don't know what I mean, this is the number one complaint from users customizing their iPhones in iOS 14 is when you customize an icon, you use Siri shortcuts and it will take you to Siri shortcuts and then to the icon. Now, a lot of users complain about that transition being uh, a little too much and some shy away from customizing their devices because of that. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to download entire theme packages to your iPhone to theme your iPhone as you see here and also avoid that transition and go directly to the app with without having to go through Siri shortcuts. So no Siri shortcuts, full theme packages of icons and uh, straight through easy to install. So let's get right to it. Now, the first thing you wanna know is that everything will be linked in the description down below. This one I have going here is right here is the color widget application, which I'll link in the description. I'm sure you already know about this one. These are the icons that I have set up. It's called Google OS Lite, I believe. And I'm gonna show you how I installed this. So let's go ahead and remove this icon here. By the way, I have all of my stock applications on the second page in case you were wondering so let's head on over to safari here and let me show you the website as i mentioned links will be in the description these are all the theme packages available here there's several theme packages probably a little over a hundred as i mentioned i'm using right here the google os Lite. This one contains 30 icons, right? So I only needed about 10 of them to theme this iPhone, as you see here, about 10 or 15 of them to theme it. Uh, so all you have to do is pretty much select a theme that you wanna go with. So I'm gonna go ahead with this one here. Then you wanna scroll down and you're going to find the application list. Now make sure that every time you select an app, this app is installed on your iPhone or else it won't open, obviously, if you don't have it. So I do have the clocks application. I do have the app store. I also have the calendar, et cetera. Just choose all the apps that you have, and this will create one bundle to download all the apps at once, Safari, et cetera. Now, some apps don't work, like settings for some reason doesn't work for me on any of the themes, so I have to use the stock settings application. Uh, but for the most part, a lot of these apps do work. So now click generate theme, and this will create a profile that goes to settings once you click allow. Now we can go back into the settings application. So let's go back into settings and you'll find a new profile at the top here. If you don't find it there, head on over to general, scroll down, go to profiles and you can find it there. Go ahead and click it, go ahead and click install and this will install those themes onto your iPhone once you enter your passcode. So there we go, same passcode you use to unlock your iPhone that is. Once you click done, you'll see that the icons will be on your home screen. So there they are. These four packages or icons that I just chose are on the home screen. And over here is the theme that I have, just to demonstrate. Now, if I do launch the app, there's a transition. However, we can get rid of that really easy. So head on over to settings after you install the icons that you want. You wanna head on over to accessibilities, then over to motion. Then you wanna go ahead and turn on reduce motion and also the crossfade transition. So we're gonna eliminate those by enabling them. And now when we click on the calendar, it goes straight to calendar without having to do that app transition. So there you guys have it. It's really simple to do this. App Store goes directly to App Store. There it is, we can go to the App Store. We also have the calendars I mentioned. We also have the photos application, etc. And as I mentioned, settings for some reason doesn't work, uh, but most of the apps do work. And you see there, no transitions, fully customized app packages all at once without a hassle to having to download multiple packages. So let me know what you think. Do you prefer this method or the previous method that I shared with Siri Shortcuts? I'm pretty sure you guys are gonna like this one better. But thank you for watching. Have a great day, guys. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace.